Hi, first grade. Today we're going to be starting our Paul Clay portrait. Paul Clay was an artist that used many different materials and he liked to create portraits. Now, when you say the word portrait, you're talking about a picture of someone. Now, if you're talking about a picture of you, it's called a self-portrait. Now take a look at this Paul Clay portrait. Does it look real to you? Hi, first grade, it's Mr. Boatfield. So this week we're gonna be creating something mixed media. What do you think mixed media means? Hmm, mixed media is when you combine two different types of art. So it could be that I make something out of clay and then I paint over it. Or it could be something that you draw and then you take some string and do something different with it that way. You're combining two different types of art to create something unique. And that's why we call it mixed media. Media just means type of art. So these last few weeks, you've been talking a lot about line, pattern, shape, and color. Today, we're gonna be seeing how well you've been practicing those skills and create something inspired by Paul Clay. Now today for my portrait, I'm going to be doing a portrait with the shoulders and the head. You can do your portrait any way you want. Maybe you want your portrait from the side, or maybe you're looking up, or maybe it's just totally crazy. It's totally up to you. Now, what you probably noticed about Paul Clay's work was that it's very abstract. Abstract means it does not look real. Look at my background. Does it look like anything? It just looks like melty stuff to me. So it would be considered more abstract. We're gonna be using our shapes. So remember, geometric means things that we can name like a triangle or a square. Organic are the crazy kind of lines that we might find in nature. We're also gonna be using color and line. Before we begin, think about what you want your face to look like. Do you want it to look real, more realistic, or do you want it to look maybe like a dream? So it could be more abstract, not looking real. Could it be a crazy face? Is it gonna be a boy? Is it gonna be a girl? Is it gonna be something that you totally made up? Paul Clay liked to use a lot of different shapes. Take a look at someone. Is it your brother, sister, or is it me? Is there certain shapes like circle for my eyes? Uh, maybe a triangle for kind of the shape of my nose. He liked to condense things or simplify things and make them smaller, more recognizable geometric shapes. Once you have your idea in mind, it's time to start finding materials. Remember, use whatever you have at home. You don't need to go to the store and buy anything new for this project. I'm gonna use what I find. I found some colored pencils. I found some markers. Remember, if you're not interested in drawing a face, Maybe you could make it out of Play-Doh. I have two different colors of Play-Doh. I could use that and make a face. Maybe you wanna cut it out of some paper. That could be an option. And then also, I wanted to try out some paint today. So maybe you have a paint set at home. I'm gonna be using mine. All right, so let's start with those shapes. Ooh, got a marker rolling into my art. I'm actually just gonna use a crayon that I have lying around. It really doesn't matter which color. And I'm gonna think about those geometric shapes. Now, just so that you can see, I'm gonna draw it upside down. You don't have to draw upside down, guys. Please don't, don't do that. <laughs> just draw it the way that's comfortable for you. So I know that most faces are probably an oval, but since I have the option of making it abstract, I think I'm gonna make it look a little bit crazy. What if I have a triangle for a face? And maybe this pointy part here is gonna be the chin. Now I wanna make sure I have a neck. So I'm gonna draw two lines down and maybe I have them go to the sides and then drop again so that it looks like shoulders. That could be an option. Now, I know that people have ears. Maybe I'm gonna give them some funky ears. Or her. Maybe I do wanna do a girl. Maybe I wanna do some luscious, kissable lips. And then I could also do that triangle nose. Maybe I could do something crazy for the eyes. Maybe I wanna do one big oval eye with a circle inside, and then maybe a small oval with a circle inside. Looking kind of funky, huh? But I have all this space up here. Maybe I could do a hat, or even better, I could do a crown, a king, like Mr. Boatfield. Now, I could go in and I could color it, but I wanted to use my paint set today. So I think I'm gonna make this mixed media by combining some different materials and just seeing what happens. I don't know necessarily if I can use my paint over the colored pencil yet, but I'm gonna give it a try. I'm just gonna try out some different stuff. Use what I have. I'm gonna avoid using so much marker today. I don't know if the marker will run, but I wanna try it out a little bit 
just to see what happens. So as I'm working, just think about how you can use different materials in yours. I'll be right back and let's start painting. Okay, so now it's time to paint. So I kind of just did, you know, an art experiment here. So I did some crayon, I did some colored pencil areas, I even did some marker. I'm not sure if the marker is going to wash away, but you know what? I think it'd be fun just to give it a try. Today is about experimenting with mixed media. So trying out different things together and seeing what happens. I have my paint palette. I also have a glass of water. I have my paintbrush and I have a paper towel just because I know that when I have fun creating stuff, I can make a mess, that happens. All right, so y'all should know how I do painting expectations. It could be different at home. Um, for parents listening, what we do is we do dip into the water, let it drip, we don't want too much water. And then this is um, a watercolor pan that I got at Kroger, I believe. And we just go a few circles around the color that you want and paint. So you guys don't have to do the whole thing one different or one color, you can mix it up. I'm noticing that when I'm going over the areas with the crayon, it's kind of avoiding it. So wherever you put the crayon, the paint will not go. I'm gonna switch colors, dip, let it drip, dab, no, not this kind of dab, you wanna dab onto the paper towel, dip again. Now let's do some blue. And then you can mix colors, experiment, the more times you go around the color pan, the darker your color will be. The more water you add, the lighter color you'll be. So you can kind of see the difference. It's gonna get a little bit wet. Now, I'm excited to see what will happen if I clean my brush really good and get some of that yellow and put on the crown. What will happen to the marker? I wonder if it'll bleed. Bleeding just means that the marker will move. It looks like this one, this marker that I use, this Crayola marker, will not move. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting here and I'll show you what it looks like at the very end. Okay, so I just finished painting now, I'm gonna be honest, this probably isn't my best work, but you know what? This project really isn't about creating something perfect or beautiful. I want you just to experiment with different colors, experiment with different shapes, and then, of course, trying out new media. So mixing things that normally wouldn't go together, like doing crayon and painting and marker. Now, just because you finished painting doesn't mean you have to be done. Couldn't you take a marker and go over your lines and make them a little bit more bold if you wanted to. I would wait until your paper's dry. You could do that. Um, you could also create something out of Play-Doh. Maybe you don't want to draw. Maybe I could take a different color of Play-Doh. Maybe I make a face with one color. Bam. And then maybe I can add different shapes and eyes and a mouth. Who knows what you're gonna do. I want you just to experiment. Maybe try some different medias together. Maybe to make this Play-Doh mixed media, I can give it a face and then use these crayons as a body. So it's totally up to you how you guys wanna be creative with this. I just wanna see that you're trying out something new inspired by Paul Clay. All right guys, have a wonderful day and I'm so excited to see what you're gonna create.